Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at how to add or remove Sleep, Hibernate, or Lock to the Start menu. What we're talking about right over here, when you hit the Start button and then you right click here, you have a few choices. They include Sleep, Shut Down, and Restart by default. But if you're somebody who likes to use Hibernate or Lock instead, we can actually remove Sleep and put whatever you want in there. And Here is how to do it. We want to get to your power section, so let's hit the Windows key plus S, and that will bring up your search. Type in power, and you should see power and sleep settings, which should bring you to, yeah, power and sleep settings. If not, it will be right here. So now that we're here, click on additional power settings. Now we're going to have a problem here. Right here you see it says choose what the power buttons do. Half of you are not going to see anything but sleep or lock here. So we're going to stop right here and I'm going to show you how to fix that because half of you can't do anything from here. We're going to open up a PowerShell prompt. Copy this right here, power CFG space forward slash hibernate forward slash on. As you can see, we explained in the article that a lot of apps and drive cleaners disable hibernation to free up drive space. So it's possible it was disabled and it's so quick and easy to do. Let's do the Windows key plus X and bring up PowerShell as admin right here. And when it does, copy and paste or type that line in that we discussed and press enter. That should be it. Let's see if it worked. I like when it works. Back to sleep. Power and sleep settings as we discussed. Additional power settings. Choose what the power buttons do. Bada bing, bada boom, look at that. So, now of course, obviously you can see that they're grayed out, so what do we do? We click right here where it says change settings that are currently unavailable. So, let's say I don't want to use sleep, I'm going to take that out of there, and I want to use hibernate. We'll just use that for an example, mix and match, do whatever you want right here. Once you're done, just click save changes, and that is it. Click your start button, and just make sure you did it right. As you can see, I have hibernate, but I no longer have sleep, just the way I wanted it. And obviously, you can just follow these steps again if you change your mind. And it's as simple as that. There you go. Now you can have whichever you want. Uh, shortly, I'm going to throw an article together, and I'll link to it in the video and probably on this page too. And that'll be an article explaining what the difference is between sleep and hibernate and lock but sleep and hibernate are the two that people get confused a lot so there you go over here in the corner is the subscribe button love it if you hit it thanks for watching see you next time